Hi guys, I have another Paracool project for us to try today. We have these boat fender key fobs. You can do them in a single colour, which I prefer. Or you can also do them in a multicolour and you'll get this spiral effect down the fob with each of the colours. This one is going to need three strands of paracord. Each one is 120 centimeters or four feet. And I'm just using a scrap piece of paracord as well. You're going to need some tape, either sticky tape, masking tape, electrical tape, and a fid would be helpful. You can do it without a fid, but the finish will just be a little bit different. So you can do it with or without. This, this is optional. And the first thing we want to do is find the center of the paracord, which I have already gone ahead and done, and just pinched it off. And then we want to measure out about five inches or 13 centimeters from that center. And I've pinched it off here again. And then we just want to tie those strands off at that location. So just a simple overhand knot is fine. So pull it nice and tight and then we can start braiding these three pieces. And to do a three strand braid is pretty easy. All you need to do is take the right strand over the center strand, and then that becomes the new center. Take the left strand over the center, and then that one will be the new center strand. Take the right one over, Then we'll take the left over and then the right and we just keep repeating that exact same pattern right over center, left over center, right over the center, left and try and keep this braid nice and tight. I've done it quite loose here just for demonstrations. I'll go back and redo this and we want to get this braid long enough so that these strands here at the top are equal in length to the strands here at the bottom. So you know you've got your braid long enough when you fold your braid in half. The remaining strands here on the end are all around about the same length. So once you get it to the required length we just want to tape this very end up. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just put a little bit of tape around, cut it off. And now that this is taped, we can also get rid of this scrap piece of paracord so we don't need this one anymore and now we'll continue on so now I am just going to rotate this vertically and spread my strands apart and if you're using three colors and you want a nice spiral down your keychain we want to get these colors opposite each other. So yellow opposite the yellow, red opposite the red, and the blue opposite the blue. And then we can proceed with our knotting. The first thing I want to do is just take one of the strands, any of them, and just form a loop by folding that strand over and just pinching it in place. Then I want to get the next strand over, 
from that one that I just folded over and I want to take that right strand over the left and then underneath so it ends up back on the right hand side then I just want to pinch that yellow strand in place and locate my next strand across and I want to do the same thing and take the right strand over the left and then underneath so it ends up back on the right hand side and I'm going to pinch that one in place and I'll take the next strand across I'm going to take the right over the left and then underneath so it ends up back on the right hand side and I'm going to pinch that red strand in place I'm going to get my next strand across right over then underneath so it ends up back on the right hand side and I'm going to grab my next strand and do the same thing right over the left and then underneath so it ends back on the right hand side and there's no next strand across now so I just want to take my end and tuck it through that first loop that we had and this first series of knots is always the most difficult it gets easier as we go along now I want to close that loop down so just tighten it down and then I'm going to hold that in place with my thumb I'm going to get the next strand across I'm going to tighten that down hold that strand in place with my thumb next strand across pull it tight hold it in place next strand across pull it tight hold it in place and do that until we get right around tighten it up hold it in place and we're probably going to have to do a couple of circuits here to make sure that our first set of knots is nice and tight so I'm going to go ahead and do that just keep going around until you feel that it's nice and tight all the way around okay so this first series of knots is nice and tight and you can see that you've got it correct if I zoom in here each of these colors is opposite each other still so this blue is opposite the blue red opposite the red yellow opposite the yellow and the free strands are the same each opposite to the other so to continue this I'm just going to repeat that exact same process you can pick any of these strands once it's tight doesn't matter so I'm just going to start here with this red one just fold it over and then pinch it into place with your thumb grab the next strand across and go over and then under again so it ends up in the original position I'm going to pinch that red strand in place and then locate my next strand across I'm going to take that over and then under so it ends up in the original position and then I'm going to pinch that yellow strand in place 
these first few knots are going to be a little bit awkward and it gets easier as you go along. So the next strand across here I'm going to take right over the left and then underneath so it ends up back in the right hand position and I'm going to pinch that cord in place. Take our next strand right over left and then back around pinch that red cord in place and then locate the next strand right over left and then underneath pinch that in place and You've now run out of strands, so the last thing to do is to tuck the end through that loop. I'm going to pinch that off there, pull the loop closed, place my thumb on that closed loop, go to the next strand, pull that next strand tight, Place my thumb on the tightened strand, go to the next strand across, pull that tight thumb on that tightened strand, go to the next strand across, tighten it up, place the thumb on the tightened strand, next one across, tighten it up, thumb on. And then we can continue that and again you're probably going to have to do a couple of circuits to get each strand nice and tight. So we'll get this one nice and tight and then we'll do the exact same process again all the way down until we get to the end here. So once you've gone all the way up and there's just a small loop here at the top, if you don't have a fid, uh, what you can do is just make sure that the final knot is as tight as you can get it and then just cut these excess pieces off and then really make sure you flatten out the ends so that they don't pull back through the knot. But if you do have a fid, I will show you how we can finish it off and it will just be a little bit neater. So just attach your fid and then whatever colour you're on, you want to go over its own colour. So in this case I'm attached to blue, I'm going to go over blue and then under the next two. So I'll go under the yellow, under the red. So through there, just pull that all the way through and then repeat that for all the other strands. So for this red strand I want to go over the red and then under the next two, so under the blue, under the yellow. Once you've tucked all these strands through, uh, just give each one a really good tighten just by pulling on each strand and then we just need to cut off the excess pieces here and when you cut them off just cut them off as close to the edge as possible so I've done one here I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and then I'll show you how to completely finish this off so once I've cut each of these pieces off I just want to go ahead and lightly singe each of the ends just so that the inner strands don't fray careful not to burn the, the rest of the paracord so just singe them off lightly and then once we've done that we can get our fid and then just push each of these ends back into the knot 
just so we hide it under the last bit there. And go ahead and push each of those ends in and we should be finished. And so there it is with the ends hidden and you can see this nice spiral shape going down the fob. Please share this video because that allows me to keep creating content for you guys. Thanks for watching.